Hey, John. Hey, uh, it sucks to be called Jono. Thanks, Ben. Uh, when you meet other Jonos overseas, like they're like, hey, Jono. You are such a Jono. It's like the logical progression is for me to just strip nude, shove my cock between my legs, light my pubes, and just rock a flaming mangina. <laughs> Uh, no one could say my name in America either. I, I lived in America for a little bit there. I'd be like, G'day, my name's Jono. I was like, Pleased to meet you, John. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's John O. Jonah? No fuck with, it's John O. John. No, no, no. It's like uh, Bono, you know, the little guy with the huge glasses and the bigger ego from U2, you know, Bono. It's like Bono with a J. Jabono. <laughs> I'm a uh, Czech uh, on my mother's side. Uh, my mum's side's Czech, so little checklist for you. Uh, Ivan Lendl, Czech. Milan Kandura, Czech. Martina Navratilova, lesbian. <laughs> you guys hear this? Sometimes when I'm like a bit, kind of like feeling a bit claustrophobic in the city, I just like to do this. Uh, if I don't have time to get away, pretend I'm camping. <laughs> I, do, I do like to rock a backpack in the city sometimes, pretend I'm like a backpacker. Like I'll uh, come up to swim some, uh, a couple in Fed Square and I'll be like, All right, geezers, <laughs> which way is it to the opera house? <laughs> Find me quite charming. Like, oh no, no, you're totally in the wrong place. <laughs> That's in Sydney. Oh fuck me, where am I then? <laughs> you're in Melbourne. All right then, tell me about the rock, the big fuck off rock. Where's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like going to um, to Woolies, to Woolworths, and with my backpack on, and I uh, maybe steal a little bit of trail mix, a little bit of scroggin, and uh, I like to walk around like pretending I'm in the Sahara and like. Uh, Everything around me is just a mirage. <laughs> I do, I do steal a bit from uh, from Woolworths. Actually, I um, I like to call it like interpretive scanning. Like I'll, I'll pick up a potato. I mean, you know, when I say potato, you say tomato. Potato. 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 Now scream. No. Thanks, yeah, you're wonderful. Uh, so, um, I, I, I like hype men. I like, uh, my favourite hype man is DMX. Do you go, where my dogs at? <laughs> I love it when he growls. <laughs> Ooh, DMX is angry. Uh, the other day I, I downloaded on, uh, on Spotify DMX live at Woodstock to get myself fired up for my run. Uh, he obviously didn't play at the original Woodstock. That would make DMX ancient even in dog years. But the balls on this guy, the fucking balls on this guy, like he gets out in front of thousands of people, he's like, where are my dogs at? And everyone's like, woo, woo, woo. everyone's going, woo. he goes, motherfuckers, that's not loud enough. Where are my dogs at? And like, woo, woo. And he's like, where are my bitches at? And they're like, ah! I'm like, that's sexist, DMX. But I think to myself, actually, he's, he's really referring to them not as humans, but as canines. So, well played, Mr. D, MX. Well played. Uh, I think a hype man has to be high energy, obviously, but I, I thought about, imagine a, a nonchalant hype man, like, uh, let me hear you say, meh. <laughs> Motherfuckers, that's not loud enough, or that's not nonchalant enough, I said, let me hear you say, meh. And now shrug, 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 shrug. Uh, more check thing, uh, microphone check. <laughs> Uh, so, um, I live in Carlton, uh, I live on Ligon Street above a bike shop in Carlton, uh, like not the uh, like Brunswick kind of hipster Carlton, like underbelly fucking Carlton, <laughs> Carlton, like, when I say Carl, you say Williams! <laughs> uh, obviously I haven't seen him around, where did I go? Uh, but uh, but I, um, I saw Mick Gatto the other day, the, the big cat, he, he, um, he parked his Rolls Royce just near the, uh, underneath the bike shop where I, uh, on the bike shop where I live, and I was like, fuck, that's Mick Gatto. And I went into the bike shop, and I was like, I just saw Mick Gatto, and he's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, Mick, you know, he's a good guy, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, he's not a good guy. 
Let's be ghetto. He kills people, gets away. He's like, no, 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 Mick, yeah, yeah, he's a gastro boy. He's a good guy, he's a good guy. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, right, right, right. Oh, I should probably check. No one from the Carlton Club here tonight, is there? No one, Gangentano, something like that. Good, no, fuck them then. <laughs> Stonzo, mozzarella. Uh, <laughs> racial, sorry. Uh, yeah, but I, th- there are some annoying kind of criminal characters just nearby where I live. There. On the corner, there are these guys uh, that, that like sell for the pasta and the pizza shop, and there's like a big guy and a little guy, and they're about 70 years old. And they look like they're straight out of The Godfather. They, they look like they could have done some serious, uh, uh, dangerous shit about 20 years ago, but they're still a little bit... Uh, they're very angry. They're basically very angry. As you walk by, they're like... Pasta, 20% off, free drinks for ladies. And you go, no, I see them every day, every fucking day. Like, pasta, 20% off, free drinks for ladies. I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, right. And they even, they even make it racially appropriate. Like, I saw them, pasta, 20% to this Asian couple, free drinks for the ladies. No, thank you. Uh, ching tong, ching tong, ching tong. Like, Unbelievable. And so the other day, I get out of my, my place and I see the little guy, he's in my alleyway and he's pissing. He's just pissing. He's got his pants down, broad daylight. I was like, like a dork. He's pissing like a fucking dork, yeah? Where my dog's at? No bad, no bad. So I went into the bike shop and I'm like, I just saw the little guy, that little guy, just pissing in the alley. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, Vito, he's a good guy. So many, you know, like, fucking hell. Uh, uh, cowboy shirt, check. Uh, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll end on this one. Um, I was at a, uh, I was at a uh, brothel for gay cowboys in Montana just recently. Uh, I was sitting in the lobby and this, the, the door flies open and this clown just like comes rolling out and this, this cowboy's there, stark naked with a cowboy hat on, he yells at him, this ain't my first rodeo, clown. He, he fucked the rodeo clown. I've been Jono, thanks very much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.